Com has suspended its executive of Group Capital Division, Abram Masango, pending an investigation into various allegations of impropriety against him relating to the Kusile power station project. Meanwhile, ESCOM CEO Bakamani Hadebe says that the power utility will have to implement load shedding for the rest of the year due to various factors that he outlined at a presentation in Johannesburg a short while ago. For more on the story, we cross to our reporter, Gloria Sefako Musi, who attended the briefing. ESCOM has just finished addressing the nation on the state of the system and uh, it is not an easy time for the power utility. ESCOM has gone through um, difficult times in terms of coal shortages at some of its power stations. We understand about 10 out of 15 of the power stations have less than 20 days of um, coal which, mean, which is uh, uh, below what is required um, and five of those have uh, about less than 10 days of coal stockpiles. Um, one other challenge that the, the power utility is facing now is also it's a rainy season and uh, we, should it rain the problem will be worsened. Um, they've also talked about uh, the plans that they've put in place to try and uh, keep the lights on. They've uh, been transporting coal from other power stations to those that are affected. Um, they've been making plans, signing contracts, but we understand that the situation will only get to normal levels uh, next year there's a high possibility that there will be load shedding during the festive season and uh, ESCOM has also gone into details about how it's dealing with uh, the problem of corruption. Um, they have uh, say investigated about uh, 1,049 cases so far, 822 have been finalized, uh, about 250 people have been suspended without pay. Well, uh, to take this further, we are joined now by the group CEO, Mr. Pagamani Khadebe. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's start with uh, the problem of uh, coal shortages. How did we get here? It's a number of things. Uh, this thing started roughly last year, 2017, about uh, in November or so. Uh, that was mainly because uh, it was found out that uh, some of the stockpile that we had had been inflated. Then they needed to be reviewed. And when that was reviewed by a company together, which I'm sure you know, then the stock started coming down. But over and above that, uh, Tegeta could not supply 400 tons as pay agreement, they supplied 200. We then, as a board, we appointed on the 20th, but by then it continued to come down. And we signed a contract with the National Treasury. But uh, the process of acquiring coal needs almost a year, and that's what took so long. But over and above that, the suppliers who have a contract with us, who were expecting them to supply a particular amount of uh, coal, could not supply that. Then we had a problem with the Coast Plus mines. Those are five big companies that are supplying uh, coal to ESCOM. But ESCOM has to put an investment. But unfortunately, ESCOM had not put an investment there. So they couldn't meet their target too. So it's a combination of the number of things that, have, that has brought us to where we are. Take us through the steps that you've taken to try and address this problem. Well, yeah, we needed to go back to the drawing boards. And we first had to get permission from the National Treasury uh, for the agent uh, acquisition or procurement of coal, which we did get. Uh, then we went into the market and we soon learned that if we have short-term contracts, uh, investors or the mine companies are not that interested. So then we extended that and we have had um, a very improving appetite. Uh, we have signed contracts with 29 mine companies and that will deliver about 15.7 million tons of coal. But over and above that, we have also uh, set aside an additional five million coal, million coal, with a couple of uh, mining companies or coal uh, companies that we are hoping will be delivered. Now, if we achieve all this, it therefore means that instead of us closing the financial year, that is by the end of March, with a coal stock cover roughly of about 20, 20, 28 days will cover about 36 days and the situation will be much better. When can we expect things to be back to normal? I think the things will be back to normal where all the power stations have more than 20 days cover. We are hoping that uh, by the end of uh, 2020 
we will be in that stage. Mid to the end of uh, 2020, we'll be in that stage. But again, let me highlight that if we will sit in, if we are, if we can be able to increase uh, the. Uh, the day stock to roughly about 40 days or so, uh, that is achievable. And we think that if we achieve all the things that we set ourselves by the end of March is 36. So let's see how it goes as we move forth. Yeah. And uh, the public can expect to have some load shedding over the festive season? N uh, we, we, they, I need to be careful. There are challenges that we are facing, and the biggest challenge is if it rains for far too long, we have put mechanisms and systems to ensure that we don't go that route. That's the first thing. The second thing is we can also make use of the gas to avoid load shedding. But should it happen that it rains continuously for days, we might be in trouble. Uh, because the plan that we have put in is that each and every power station at least can stand, especially the five, the five that have a big challenge, that have less than 10 days, they can stand or they can operate for at least three days if it rains continuously for three days. President